This is what you might have missed on BCSN's Sports Nightly. Back on Sports Nightly, it's time to talk a little bit of high school football in June as we debut the football focus here on Friday nights. And our first guest, Jerry Bell, head coach of the Whitmer Panthers. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Practice had some, uh, some work already uh, this month. You'll get some more in July, and then it gets started on August 1st. Uh, looking back at a 7-3 and three season, first-round playoff loss. I know you're not too excited about that, but I think you're excited with the way your team grew. You got, had a lot of juniors who uh, played a lot of sophomores, got even more experience as juniors. Absolutely. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of young kids in the last two years been playing for us, and, uh, you know, now it's time for those guys to, uh, to shine as seniors. You know, we have a – you know, we're going to have probably about a 30-man 30, 30 class when it comes to that senior class, and, you know, we have high expectations for them, and, you know, they have a lot of playing experience behind them, and, you know, two playoff, two playoff uh, games behind, you know, behind them as well. So, you know, we're, we're expecting good things from them, and, you know, we're excited about, you know, what, what we have coming back. Talk about that senior class. Skill position-wise, got some names that, that people are going to recognize. Chase Bowman coming back as a senior at quarterback. Malik Moore, the running back, just a junior, fantastic out of the backfield. And the big guy up front, Kobe Hotland, who is a – beast of a man up front for your team yeah you know we're those those guys are our key guys you know and our our offense runs through them you know chase chase has had a tremendous offseason you know and malik's done some really, really good things and you know kobe has just been a a true leader for us since he was a freshman so you know we're expecting good things from those three guys and and to lead us lead us to the expectation level that we have for the season defensively what are you expecting from this team we're expecting you know it's going to be it's probably going to be a, a defense that's, that's full of a lot, lot of bunch of no-name guys, you know, and there's going to be guys that, you know, that have been playing there before that may not have all the big stats that, that, that other people have had, you know, that we've had for our defenses, but we're going to be relentless. We're going to get after it. We've got uh, quite a few guys that have been rotating in for the last, you know, few years. It's going to be, you know, a mix of juniors and seniors on that defensive side. Friday nights, home games at Whit Memorial Stadium, electric atmosphere. Unfortunately for you, you play four of your first five <laughs> right. on the road, starting out at Walsh Jesuit. Week two, you go to Michigan to play Detroit Catholic Central. Right. Uh, then you come home and take on Perrysburg. Right. Who, it's been a good matchup with that team the last couple of years. Perrysburg coming off arguably their greatest year ever. Uh, your non-conference schedule is tough. Then you start two track games on the road right. through week five. Our first five games are just, you know, they're, they're uh, going to be very tough, and it's going to be a make or break for us, to be honest with you. You know, when we look at our first five games, you know, we have to be able to get out of those first five games with, you know, a, a good record for one, but we got to be extremely healthy because, you know, when you when you look at the track, we, we play such great football on the track and it's highly competitive. You know, we have to make sure that, we, that we're that we ready to go to, to make a run in the track. And then obviously, you know, to, to get in the playoffs, we need to make sure that we're trying to be healthy as well. Making the playoffs has not been a problem for this team the last uh, couple of seasons, but uh, going back to the state championship appearance a few years ago, it's been one and done for, for your team. Right. And I know that frustrates you a little bit. What's it going to take to get over the hump, go deeper in the postseason? I just think we need to, you know, we need to be more consistent. You know, we, we've been so inconsistent in our play, but when, you, when you're playing so many sophomores and juniors, you're going to have that, you're going to have that issue. But, you know, I'm a guy that's a no-nonsense, no-nonsense, no-excuse type guy. I'm looking for results from our players, and, it, and it's going to start. I mean, it started. We've already had, you know, five practices already for this for the for the month of June. We'll have four more in July. But what I'm looking for is for our guys to be consistent throughout practice because if you if we can start to practice at a consistent level and and at that expectation we're looking for, then we're going to play at that consistent at that consistency that we're looking for. You mentioned the practices you've already had in June, and a lot of average high school football fans may not realize you get 10 days, the state right. gives you 10 days throughout the summer to get those extra practices in before the first actual practice day on August 1st. How important are those days? I think they're extremely important. You know, when you when you look at those 10 days, you know, we're working on we're working on our conditioning. We're working on teaching the guys how to practice at the level that we're looking for. We're also looking at, you know, our timing, making sure we get our install, you know, majority of our install is done. So then when you come in, you know, August 1st, our install is pretty much done offensively and defensively. And quite frankly, even special teams, our install will be done. So then when you start to now get into August 1st, now you start to refine everything. You start filling in the pieces of the puzzle that you're looking for to start to get that consistent play in all aspects of the game. Well, the Whitmer Panthers coming off a 7-3 and three season. Coach, we are just about two months away right. from that kickoff. 
at Walsh Jesuit. We're definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much for the time. Thank and, you. And best of luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Be sure to watch Sports Nightly weeknights at 1030 on BCSN and follow us on Twitter at sports underscore nightly.